All right, everybody. Time, time for the Jeopardy. Yep. Time for the Jeopardy. The 2003 PC version, which I have yet to play on the breeze, but Jay requested this, so we're going to play it. I'd also have Patrick as a guest, but he's on the phone. Anyways, let's do that thing again. Time for the Jeopardy. I love it. Your father loves it. Your Aunt Nana watches it every night in the VCR. Okay, thank you, Mr. Sandler. Oh, and Jay has Koopa Troopa with him. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> Infogrames. Artec Studios. Hmm. Hi, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's set things up before we begin our game. Normal game? Okay, so how many people out there? Player one, what's your name? Player one, here's your buzz in key. Space bar. Uh, yeah. You can also use your mouse to write down your signature as I'm well. Imagine down to toilet in your sewer, Aubrey. Like they always are. Oh. Oh, I gotta clear that. Kind of hard to write your name with a mouse. For some reason, I found it easy. Okay, there we go. It's showtime. Well, it's easy, but I just I can't make it perfect. The Sony Pictures Studios. This is Jeopardy. Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you very much, Johnny. Hey, it's time for Jeopardy. So good luck to all our players. The first round categories are as follows. Can't be on Jeopardy. World religion. Farms with M in quotation marks. Classic TV show catchphrases. The Prez says, and to finish the board, Days of Wrath. Player one, you start us off. Can't be on Jeopardy for 200. John Kennedy Toole wrote about a confederacy of these pointy cap wearers. Player two, what are dunces? Exactly. Can't be on Jeopardy for 400. If you were this, like an angle over 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, no show for you. Player two, what is obtuse? That was my guess. Yes. Can't be on Jeopardy for 600. From the Latin for thick, it's okay for Forrest to be it, but not future contestants. Anyone? Take a look, here's the right Dance. Can't be on Jeopardy for 800. These numbskulls that were thorns in the side of Gumby just won't cut it. Anyone? Take a look, here's Lock the heads. right response. Can't be on Jeopardy for 1,000. Answer? Daily Double. The Daily Double. A thousand dollars, the maximum allowed. You could learn a lot from one of these about seat belts, but that's not. Oh, and I know to this through the show. Player two, what is crash tester? Wrong. Ooh, sorry. What we were looking for. A dummy. Was... So he's in the hole at minus four hundred. With days of wrath for two hundred. Start praying now. It's the day at the end of the world when God settles accounts. Player two, what is Judgment Day? Yes. 
which a lot of people thought would it happen in December rat. last year, but well, it didn't. Uh, known as Hump Day, this day of the week is named for the Norse god of war. What is Wednesday? Exactly. Days of Wrath for 600, please. Al Pacino angrily bursts into a New York bank in this 1975 film about hostage taking. Player one. What is Dog Day Afternoon? Yes. Days of Wrath for 800. It was the beginning of the end for the Nazis on this designated day. Player one. What is D Day? Exactly. Days of Wrath for a thousand. This 1983 ABC TV movie provoked angry debate with its depiction of nuclear devastation. Player three. What is the day after? Hey, you're correct. I like the press says for 200. 1961. Ask not what your country can do for you. Who is John F. Kennedy? Exactly. The press says for 400, please. 1990. I'm President of the United States, and I'm not going to eat any more broccoli. Who is George Bush? Too bad for him, because I love broccoli. Yes. The press says for 600, please. 1863. The world will little note, nor long remember, what we say here. Player two, oh. who is Abraham Lincoln? Dang it, you locked me out. Exactly. I'll try classic TV show catchphrases for 200. Oh, I like that one. Good night, John Boy. Player two, ah. what is the Waltons? God dang you. Hey, you're correct. Classic TV show catchphrases for 400. Baby, you're the greatest. Player one. I'm going to try this one and say, what is the Honeymooners? Precisely. Yes. Pick again. I'll have classic TV show catchphrases for 600. Your mission, Jim, should you choose to accept it. Player one. What is Mission Impossible? Hey, you're correct. Classic TV show catchphrases for 800, please. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Unga. Bunga. Player three. What is Gomer Pyle? Oh. Exactly. I'll take farms for 200. After Sydney, this city has the largest metropolitan area in Australia. Player one. What is Melbourne? Hey, you're correct. Farms for 400. It can be an Indian city or a type of fabric. Player three. What is Madras? Oh. That's precisely. That was my answer. Pick again. I'll take world religion for 200. It's the sacred scripture of the religion of Islam. Player one. What is the Koran? Hey, you're correct. World religion for 400. This tabernacle in Salt Lake City's Temple Square is famous for its choir. Player one. What is a uh, Mormon temple? Oh, regrettably, no. Darn. Player three. What is the Mormon tabernacle? Oh, precisely. Just Mormon tabernacle. What you get? I'll take farms for 600. Oh, thank you. By mid-1990, all of Liberia, except for parts of this capital, was controlled by rival rebel groups. Ugh. Player one. Thank you. What is Monrovia? Yes. Farms for 800. The northern portion of Borneo is part of this country. Player one. What is Malaysia? Precisely. Pick again. Farms for 1,000. The Sultan of Zanzibar built a palace in this current capital of Somalia. Player one. What is Mogadishu? Hey, you're correct. Classic TV show catchphrases for 1,000. I see nothing, I hear nothing. Player two, what is Hogan's Heroes? Precisely. Pick again. Let's try the Prez Says for 800. 1974. 
I have never been a quitter. Where oh. Who is Richard M. Nixon? Dang it, I knew that one. Definitely. The press says, for a thousand. 1940. We must be the great arsenal of democracy. Player one. Uh, who is Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Precisely. Pick again. World religion for 600. In Christian churches, Ascension Day is observed 40 days after this spring holiday. Player one. What is Easter? Yes. World religion for 800, please. This Chinese philosopher is also known as Kung Fu Tzu. Player one. Who is Confucius? Precisely. Now the last clue. Pick again. And to wrap up this board, this Old Testament king was the second son of David and Bathsheba. Player three. Who is Solomon? That was my guess. Exactly. But I'm leading with $8,200. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. Big lead. Player one, well done. You're still in the 3600 for player three. Player two, you're in last place. 2400 for player two. First in double jeopardy. I'm leading with $8,200. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double jeopardy. We're ready. Here are the categories for the double jeopardy round. This president's vice president. Tea party. The British invasion. Our Earth. That's rank. And here's the last category. Literary world. Let's try this president's vice president for 400. Dan Quayle. Player one. Who is George Bush? Oh, oh. Hey, you're Oh, okay. Uh, this president's vice president for 800, please. Gerald Ford. Player one. Um, who is Jimmy Carter? Oh, uh, that's incorrect. Dang it. Player three. Who is Richard Nixon? Derek. Exactly. I'd like our Earth for 400. This outer part of the Earth shares its name with the outer part of a pie. Player one. What's a crust? Definitely. Uh, our Earth for 800, please. From the Latin for track, it's the path of the Earth around the Sun. Player one. What's an orbit? Precisely. Pick again. Uh, our Earth for 200, please. This satellite of the Earth is a whopping 2,160 miles in diameter. A lot bigger than it looks. Player one. Uh, what's the moon? Hey, you're correct. Our Earth for 1,600, please. All right. Uh, eighteen hundred. The highest temperature ever recorded on Earth was a hundred and thirty-six degrees Fahrenheit at Al Aziziya on this continent. Player one. What is Asia? Good answer, but sorry, that's wrong. No. What we were looking for. Africa. Our Earth for two thousand. Some theorize that the Earth once had just one of these bodies of water, called Panthalassa. Player one. Uh, what is an ocean? Yes. This president's vice president for 1200, please. George Bush. Player two. Who is Ronald Reagan? There. Exactly. How about literary world for 400? In the 1934 book Burmese Days, this animal farm author told of his days in the Indian Imperial Police. Player one. Who's George Orwell? Hey, you're correct. Uh, literary World for 800, please. She said World War I Belgian refugees influenced her characterization of her detective Hercule Poirot. Player two, uh. who was Agatha Christie. Exactly. Let's try the British Invasion for 400. This group, famous for I'm Henry VIII, I am, 
didn't play instruments on most of their hits. That's Hermit Hermit. Player one. Alright, who are Herman's Hermits? That's who we were looking for. Thank you, Patrick. The British Invasion for 800, please. I took my troubles down to Madame Ruth. Player three. What is love potion number nine? Precisely. Oh. Pick again. Let's go for tea party for 400. It's a silly, outdated affectation to crook this when picking up a teacup. Player one. Uh, what is your pinky? Hey, you're correct. A tea party for 800, please. It's a comfy term for a teapot cover. Player one. What's a cozy? Exactly. A tea party for 1200, please. From Middle English for curled up cake, it's a tea bread that resembles an English muffin. Player one. What's a crumpet? Hey, you're correct. A tea party for 1600, please. Or 2000, I guess. Tea named for the titled Earl who became Prime Minister in 1830. Player one. Uh, who, what is Earl Grey? Precisely. Let's try the tea party for uh, 1600 now. New York merchant Thomas Sullivan gets the credit for originating these in 1904. His were made of silk. Player one. What are tea bags? Yes. This president is vice president for 1600, please. Andrew Johnson. Player three. Who is Abe Lincoln? Exactly. I like... That's rank for 400. Highest rank achieved by the general seen here. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is five star general? Definitely. Uh, that's right for 800, please. It's the highest male title in the British peerage and John Wayne's nickname. Player one. What is Duke? Precisely. Pick again. Uh, that's right for 1200, please. Cherubim and Seraphim are ranks of these. Player one. What are angels? Hey, you're correct. Uh, that's right for 1600, please. Madeleine Albright was the highest ranking member of this president's cabinet. Player two. Who is Bill Clinton? Oh, yeah. Precisely. Pick again. Oh, literary world for 1,200. This Shakespearean lady persuades her husband to kill Duncan. Player one. Who's Lady Macbeth? That's who we were looking for. A uh, literary world for 1,600, please. Long Day's Journey Into Night was the first of his plays produced on Broadway after his death. Player two. Who is Eugene O'Neill? Precisely. Pick again. Literary world for 2000. Pick okay. a daily double. Make your way to please. 7600, true daily double. Uh oh. Porfiry drives Rust. And I know this. Confess in the novel Crime and This. Player two. What is crime and punishment? Got it. Definitely. Uh oh. How about the British invasion for 12 It's going to catch me. It's going to try to catch up to me. On September 23rd, 1997, this aged rock group kicked off its Bridges to Babylon tour to everyone's satisfaction. Player one. Who are the Rolling Stones? Precisely. A British invasion for 1600, please. Again. When Jerry Marsden formed his new band in 1959, he didn't have the heart to call it anything but this. Player three. What are the pacemakers? Yeah. Hey, you're correct. Let's do this president's vice president for 2000. Harry Truman. Player one. Uh, who is Dwight D. Eisenhower? Ooh, sorry. There. Player two. Who is Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Oh, exactly. that's right. Dang okay. it. Okay, that's rank for 2,000. 
A Weebolo is the highest rank one of these scouts can achieve before he becomes a Boy Scout. Player one. What's a Cub Scout? Hey, you're correct. Now the last clue. Here's the final answer on this board. He sang lead on the animals House of the Rising Sun, their only chart topper. Player three. Who is Eric Burden? Hey, you're correct. Wow, what a game we have. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead going in. Twenty-two thousand dollars. Player two, you're seventeen thousand two hundred. Your trailing ten thousand four hundred. Plenty of game left. Here we go. Final it's Jeopardy. Crunch time, folks. Final Jeopardy. I show you the category, then I give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Category. The Women's Hall of Fame. Okay. Go ahead. Make your wager. I already know player two is going to get it wrong, and player three can't catch me. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player two, your wager, please. Player one, please make your way. I'll stay where I'm at. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. One of the two Harriets in the Women's Hall of Fame. They both are associated with slavery. Who is Harriet Tubman? Let's see how everyone did. Your question. Harriet Beecher Stowe. That's it. Right. Well done. And your wager was... You go to 20800 Your question. Please. Nothing! Oh, sorry. That's incorrect. How much did it cost you? 9600 So you dropped 7600 Your question. That's right. I said Harriet Tubman. And your wager was? Nothing. So I stay at 22000 I get to start a run. Congratulations to our winner. Player one. Hope you all had fun. See you again on Jeopardy. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start our game. So I will get to start a run of the 2003 PC version of Jeopardy with $22,000. Yay. Uh-huh. Thanks to Jay and Patrick for being a part. We'll see y'all for our next video in just a little bit. Raw!